Hello all. So let's get started with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So over here up till now we have modeled this. So we have very best part of the modeling. After that we are going to start with the texturing part. So let's take the reference again over here for the modeling. So we have some part left for the modeling. So let's take this as a reference, the poly 2. So we can take this reference, click over here. So what we can do over here is we can resize a bit. So we can just resize a bit and we can just push it down over here so you can again take a cylinder so already we have this part so what we can do is you can just take a copy of it and push this up over here and you can rotate a bit and push this out that's it so just save your file again now what you can do over here is we can create such kind of stripes over here a kind of a band sorry so you can create such kind of bands over here so we can just press alt q that is for the isolation mode let's go into this helix if you want to go into this helix part we can go into this helix there are two options you can go into this helix so just click on this helix option after that what you can do over here is you can reduce the radius if you want to reduce the radius you can reduce the radius and you can even reduce the radius or you can reduce the height and the turns so you can reduce the turns also so just click over here and you can just scale it like this over here so what you can do is enable in viewport and make it rectangular and you can reduce this count over here so again if you go into this helix if you go down so you can reduce this height so you can keep this height and you can rotate it and you can just scale it so once you scale it you are done with it So now just end isolate it, select this, 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 select this all, alt Q, again push this and what you can do over here is if you consider this as a band you can again make a copy and you can push this down and you can rotate it in 90 degree just make a copy that's it okay this is perfect and you can even rotate it so you can just make it as a free rotate for now that's it so you can just resize it if you require it so you can just select it and reduce this length so you can just take the same length 0 0.237 after this step just click over here 
and there is an option so select both these elements right click convert to editable spline select this and you have an option called attach so you can attach it with this select this and you have an option over here called insert and you can insert and you can join it over here like this that's it so if you want such kind of stripes over here so that can be created in this manner so if you want to make a copy of it you can just duplicate it like this so you can just push it like this and if you want it at the corner So do it in this way. So that's the way you can achieve it. So select this vertices, push this down. Uh, push it out. That's it okay that's it so you can select it and make a copy of it so once you make a copy of it you can easily push it on the other side like this so so you can just select it and make sure you push it perfectly and if you like to rotate it, you can easily rotate it like this. So as you can do, you can do for all these things. So you can shift this over here for this part select this again and you can push it rotating would be a bit difficult you can push this up select this push this over here that's it so as you can see we have uh, created such kind of stuff over here so make sure you are putting in a correct form so you can just end isolate it to see the difference ah, ha, ha. we have committed a mistake I'm so sorry this should be behind so so let's push this up and this should be over here push it in this me. So push this up again in this manner and push this up over here. That's it. So same thing will appear for this both also. So very first of all just select this, push this over here select this and push this over here or the perfect match select this again push this up that's it and the same part 
over here push this up push it in better front that's it so let's save the file so now uh, we can take one more reference for the back so go into rendering view image file and we can take one reference for the back side so if you require any kind of a tweaks or something that you can easily do it over here so you can just make a copy of it you can easily make one more copy over here to get it right perfectly so this should uh, perfectly fit over here select this and you can reduce this thickness select this push it over here that's it okay so you can rotate it if you want to rotate it you can rotate it select this as a polygon insert it you can insert a bit that's it and you can use a bit of a bevel option so you have this bevel property already so if you want what you can do is you can just extrude it and you can just scale it that's it and if you want you can just push it inside that's it let's save your file again so we need to do some tweaks over here uh, this part Are done with this part perfectly so you can just ungroup it first let's ungroup it and select the area select the bolts and nuts whatever it is required push it out and rotate it that's it so whatever you feel the best you can uh, keep it so if you want to group it again you can uh, easily group it wherever you want group it So if you want to zoom out, you can easily zoom out and you can see the changes. So we have some buttons left over here so that buttons can be easily created over here. So you can use a spear option over here, you can use a spear option so you can reduce this part over here. You can just resize it, you can push it out, convert to editable poly, you can just select this and delete it, Oops. you can uh, select this part and delete it and you can select the border and right click and cap it, so you can just uh, keep this over here for this and you can just resize it so whatever copies you want you can just take it and click ok that's it so as you have already made this changes over here You can just see the reference once again over here and if you want to make some changes 
over here that can be done easily okay all right so from the next part we'll start with the texturing so thanks for watching this tutorial